Howdy y'all, Bearded Carp here. I've got uh, round 10 B-wall log up here on my horses. I've got the other three logs already cut out for the, the 10th round. There'll be one more round of logs that goes up above these, which will be the plate logs. And I'll have to also, on B and D wall, put a half log in there, but I'm not ready to get into that yet. There's something that I'll show you that I'll do on B and D wall the plates will set on top of these two logs and I cut a, I guess you could call it kind of a, a locking keyway that I put in the notch and I'll show you how I lay that out. I'm not sure you can see this line right here. This is actually the, the top uh, part of the half dovetail but I've got another inch down from that to here and I came from the shoulder two inches so it'll be an inch deep and two inches wide. And I've gone ahead and I've scored the shoulder line and across here and up on the side so that when I can cut it out, I can get it real clean. But I'll go ahead and I'll cut this, this part of the upper part of the, the half dovetail. I'll go ahead and cut it out like I always do. And I'll clean it up to the line here. And then I'll cut this, this area here out where I'm shading this with my pencil. This will all be cut out here. It's two inches over and one inches deep. This is on D wall. It's already finished and ready to, to set on the wall. But you can see how this cuts out here. And I go all the way across with it. And I clean it up real good. And I'll check it with a straight edge, making sure I've got it flat. And I've got a, a nice clean line here for it to come against. And what this will do, the plate log will have on the inside of the lower notch, it will come down into this and, and lock the bottom side of the, of, the, of the plate logs into this notch here. got this line scored here the shaded area will be what is cut out and I'm going to cut this using my little folding saw silky and a skill saw that is set at the right depth now this back here I'll have to chisel out because I can't get a saw up in there and I'll just make a series of cuts across there as far as I can go with my little skill saw and I'll take my little folding saw and I can go up against the shoulder and make a series of cuts with it down to the line. You can also use a chainsaw if you're very careful and just make a series of cuts with it. Just make sure you don't go below the line. Just keep checking it so that you don't go too deep with your chainsaw. And I'm using a one inch chisel and I'm just going to chisel out the waist. Have to chisel from both sides here. Just start paring it down to the to the line. You want your chisel, your chisel good and sharp for this. And sometimes you have to score the fibers a little bit so that you can clean it up nice and clean.
Okay, I've got this all cleaned out here. I took my little square and I can lay it on there all the way across to make sure that I've got this nice and flat. Of course, I scored this line here so I had something real clean to work to. And I went ahead and on this shoulder, on both sides, I went ahead and cleaned that back to the line. I just left the line. When you set the top plates on and the little part of the lower notch that I guess you could call it the key that sets in this, it will lock in there and this will be what keeps it from kicking out at the bottom. The, you don't fit the top plates like on the notch, notch face here. You don't fit it because when you set the top plates you you have to pull a your water level out if that's what you choose to use or transit and get your heights readjusted if you remember over the doors and the windows i adjusted the heights of everything and when you get to the top plates you do the same thing you have to adjust again and so you want that to stay as you cut it so i won't be making a saw pass on these shoulders because if i do that'll scoot this plate log in and open up a gap here and it'll be loose. So I'll just set it in there real snug and the shoulder of the plate was set against the shoulder of this log right here. And the, the bottom part was set down in this, this cutout real nice and tight. So I'll get the other end cut out and this log hewed and it's ready to go to the wall. And round 10 will all be cut out and ready to set. I've got the last log of round 10, which is B wall, ready to set. And then I'll be working on round 11, which will be the plate logs, be the last round of logs that goes up. There's something about setting the last logs on a cabin. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm glad that I'm at that point. But uh, also, I've, I don't have any more logs to work out. So it's, uh, it's happy and a little bit sad at the same time.
I think that'll stay there. Get these ropes off. Yeah, the last log of round 10. Then on to the plates.